Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to make your voice sound better in Audacity. It's actually a really simple process and if you use the steps in this video effectively, you can get some studio quality sound from your Audacity recording. Alright, let's get right to it. I'm going to start off by recording some sample audio to use for this tutorial and I'm going to make sure that at the beginning of the sample audio, I have just a few moments of silence, um, meaning I'm not going to be speaking but you will only it will only be recording the background noise. So let's get right to it. I'm going to start the recording. So this is the sample audio that I'm recording for this tutorial. Alright, so as you can see at the beginning here, we just have some background noise and then we have myself talking over here. So what we're going to start off by doing, the first thing that you want to do is you want to get rid of the background noise. So basically, I'm just going to select this background noise right over here. Let's just go up to there and basically I'm going to go to effect, I'm going to go to noise reduction, okay, I'm going to click get noise profile and that is taking the noise profile of the background noise, then I'm going to click control A to select all of the audio and then I'm going to go to effect, I'm going to go to noise reduction again and then I'm going to click OK, but just make sure that it's set to reduce and then you can click OK. And what that has done is that has removed the background noise from all of the audio. If you remember, there was a little bit of a fuzzy spot right here and now it's just a flat line. So it has removed the background noise from the audio. So the next thing that you're going to do is you are going to use the compressor effect. So we're going to go to effect, we're going to go to compressor right here. And basically you want to set the threshold um, between, we'll say negative 17 and negative 18 decibels. Um, so it's at negative 17, I'm going to bring it to negative 18. Uh, let's just bring it to negative 18 and then I'm going to click OK. And what that will do is it'll raise the volume of the audio and it'll sort of boost the volume of my voice. And we're going to just make it more clear and sound a little bit better with the next few steps. So the next thing that you should do is boost the bass and the treble of your voice. Now, if you want studio quality sounds in Audacity, um, you need to boost the bass and the treble and leave the mids as the same as the way that they are. So the bass and the treble should be boosted and that will give you a much better sound from your voice. So we're going to go to effect, we're going to go to bass and treble right here and we want to boost the bass by about two decibels and also boost the treble by about two decibels. Now you can fool around with these numbers but my rule of thumb is two decibels each but you can fool around to get the exact desired sound that you want. So mine are already set at two and two, I'm going to click OK and it will apply that bass and treble boost to this audio right here. So I'm going to click OK and as you can see, it now has, has sort of brought the sound in um, because it boosted the bass and the treble um, and it made it sound a lot better and the mids remained the same. Now the final thing that we want to do is we want to put a hard limit on the volume over here. So I'm going to go to effect, okay, and we are going to scroll down to limiter right over here. Then we are going to choose hard limit, okay, which was already selected, so hard limit. And then you want to set your hard limit to... I would say anywhere between negative three decibels and negative five decibels is okay. Uh, I'm going to go with negative four decibels. That's usually what I like to use. So negative four decibels and I'm going to click OK to apply that just like that. And what, what it has done is it has set a hard limit. So all of those spikes in volume that you saw before are now gone. And you can now see that it's sort of just all at the same level. And if you have used these steps effectively, your voice will sound much better. You will get something that is very close to studio quality sound with your voice in audacity and that's basically it i hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching